In this brief example, I'm going to show how to submit an assignment on Windows that I've already completed. So in this case, uh, we're talking about a fictional assignment called Assignment Zero. Um, and so I've already created my directory here, springjm underscore crow, because in Assignment Zero, um, the name, the assignment name for this assignment is crow. And so because the assignment name is crow, the name of my submitting folder should be netid underscore crow. And so before I submit this, I'm going to look inside and see if there's anything in here I don't need. And in fact, there is. So I've got this build directory that has all my build files. I don't need any of that. So I'm going to take this build directory and delete it because we don't want to submit your build files to us. That can be a deduction. Um, and so now we have our, our readme.txt the CMake lists to allow us to build the project, and then all of our source files are contained in source. So now, back to Spring JM Crow, I want to take this and I want to test it on ECE3 uh, before I submit. So I'm going to right click here, and I'm going to add this to Spring JM underscore Crow dot zip. So this is going to create the zip file that I'll later submit if it turns out that everything works correctly. And so to put this zip file and to test it on ECE3, I need to be able to transfer that file. So I'm going to open up this tool called WinSCP for secure copy. And I'm going to log in to ECE3 using my NetID and password. So in order to copy the files to the remote server, I'm going to have to find where they are locally uh, and then decide where I'm going to put them remotely. So you can see over here, Sprint.jm. So this is my normal directory that I would just see everything when I log into it. And here I have a folder called ECE275. Then there's a couple of files here that don't really make sense uh, for what we're doing here. So I'm going to create a new folder. And we're going to call this YouTube. And so it's into this YouTube folder that I'm going to drag springjm underscore crow dot zip. So I could find this by CE users Jonathan Sprinkle documents ECE 275. Uh, that's where I happen to have my created my file and I created it just a few moments ago. So I'm going to drag this over to here and it's going to securely copy that over to ECE3. So now I'm ready to go over here and test. Uh, I've already done my copying with WinSCP. Next I'm going to use PuTTY to log in via the terminal to ECE3. So my host name ECE3.ece.arizona.edu. I'm going to log in via SSH which is a secure protocol with my net ID and password. And so now I need to go to the directory that I just copied all the files to, which is home, Sprint JM, ECE 275, YouTube. So if I look to print my working directory, which is PWD, I'm already in home, Sprint JM. And so I need to add ECE 275 and YouTube. So change directories to ECE 275 and add the YouTube at the end. So now I'm in that directory, home, Spring JM, ECE275, YouTube. And in this directory, if I list everything with ls, I should see Spring JM underscore crow dot zip. Hooray. So now I'm going to use a command available on Linux called unzip, Spring JM underscore crow. I just hit tab there and it filled out the rest of that file name. And now it gave me all of those files that I already had. So now if I list the directory, I see that I have the zip file here. And then I also have the extracted directory here. So let's change into that directory, springjm underscore crow. And now if I list in this directory, I have the same directories, source and readme.txt and cmake lists that I had back on my Windows desktop. So here I have inside of springjm crow, readme, cmake lists, and source. So now I'm going to use cmake to test to make sure that this works before I submit it. So make directory build, cd build, cmake 
and then I'm going to invoke CMake on the directory above me, so dot dot. And once I've generated those make files, I'm going to type make, which is going to execute the compiler. And then I'm going to test and make sure that it works as I expect. Dot slash source, grow, hello. Dot slash source, grow, snow. So it seems to be executing correctly. So I have pretty good confidence that my code is going to work when it's tested by the instructors. So I'm going to exit from here. And now I'm ready to upload the zip file that I created to D2L. So at this point, I'm going to create a new tab and visit D2L. And then on D2L, after I log in, I'm going to be able to submit it. The submission page will look differently for me than it will for you because I'm an instructor and I can't actually submit a homework assignment. But here I would visit ECE 275. And then under Dropbox, uh, I would submit here to assignment zero. So I can try to act like a student and see what it shows me, view as a student. and Dropbox. I can see that I have assignment zero here. Oh, maybe it will let me submit. Yeah, so I'm gonna submit a file, select the file, and I need to grab it from here, ECE 275. So I'm gonna now visit over here and copy it to this location. And I can only upload one file. So I think it said that it's added now. And now I'm going to submit. So again, this is for assignment zero. This is just checking how to submit this assignment. You don't need to put anything in the comments here because you have a readme file. I think if I press submit, it'll probably be unhappy because I'm a faculty member. Well, maybe not. File submission successful. So now if I go back and view Dropbox, I should be able to see that uh, there's one submission for assignment zero. Now if I go back and decide that I want to change my submission because I've correctly doing it, by submitting again I'll overwrite my previous submissions. So when in doubt, go ahead and submit something that you know works so that you can continue working on something else and if you're able to improve your assignment and you can test it and make sure that it works, then you can overwrite your previous version and there's no penalty for overwriting. Uh, what you'd submitted before as long as you submit again by the deadline. So good luck everyone.